Hello everyone, this is Meng Zhou from Princeton University. I'm going to present Structure Pruning Learns Compact and Accurate Models today. This is a joint work with my lab mate Zoshin and my advisor Danqi. It's widely known that language models are over-parametrized. Take a base-sized BERT model, for example. It consists of 12 transformer blocks and has 84 million parameters. After fine-tuning the model on MNLI, it can achieve an accuracy of 84.8. Given such a large model size, a plethora of work have been proposed to compress transformer-based language models to boost efficiency. Knowledge distillation is one of the predominant approaches for model compression, which transfers knowledge from a teacher model to a fixed student model. Take TinyBird for example. TinyBird 4 consists of four transformer blocks and is distilled with unlabeled core prefers and then distilled with task-specific data from a full-size fine-tuned model. After these two steps of distillation, the final model can achieve over 10 times inference speedup compared to the BERT-based model and achieve a 78.7 .7 accuracy on the MNOI. The small size models compressed from knowledge distillation can achieve over 10 times speedup. However, knowledge distillation also has a few disadvantages. First of all, it always requires to pre-specify a student model architecture before training, while it's not clear whether this architecture is optimal or not. Second, the student model usually is trained from scratch with unlabeled data, which is computationally expensive, which means that it's going to be very expensive every time you want to build a model with a specific sparsity for a new scenario. The other main approach to model compression is pruning. Unstructured pruning, which is widely known from the lottery ticket hypothesis, prunes individual parameters from a deep neural network. It shows that there exists a subnetwork that preserves the performance of the original full model. However, it's hard to achieve inference speedup because hardwares like GPUs are not optimized for sparse matrix operations. Structure pruning instead searches for an accurate subnetwork in a large pre-trained model by pruning groups of parameters, such as heads and full FFN layers, and therefore it can lead to actual inference speedup without special optimization. The state-of-the-art pruning approach block pruning prunes blocks in multi-headed matrices and intermediate dimensions in feed forward networks. It produces a model of a size of 25 million parameters and achieves 2.7 times speed up and a 70, 83.7 accuracy. Structure pruning has all kinds of benefits when compared to distillation approaches. It leads to flexible model structures specified with different sparsities. It can also achieve competitive results with, without unlabeled data. As pruning always starts from a pre-trained model, it requires much less computation. Furthermore, the pruning process can be combined with task-specific distillation objectives, which brings consistent gains. However, structure pruning never achieves a large speedup without a significant performance drop. Why can't structure pruning approaches achieve a large speedup? Take removing heads, for example. A common practice to model the pruning decision of a head is to place a head mask inside the multi-head attention function and jointly learn the head mask along with the model parameters. It should entail the solution to prune four heads from a layer and also the solution to prune all heads of a layer. However, in practice, it's difficult to optimize to get the second solution while pruning layers could lead to significant speed up gains due to the removal of overhead from a layer. In terms of training objectives, it's common to use a prediction layer distillation loss to replace the cross entropy loss in structured pruning. In the context of a knowledge distillation, using an additional layer wise distillation objective further improves the performance of compressed models, which we posit would be beneficial to structure pruning as well. However, with a dynamically changing model structure during training, it's unclear how to further utilize the layer representations to guide the pruning pruning process. In this work, we propose Kofi, a structure pruning approach which jointly prunes coarse and fine grain units, and we further augment a layer-wise distillation objective that adapts to changing model structures to guide the pruning process. The prune models can achieve a 10 times speed up and preserves 90% of the accuracy. So we start from a BERT-based model structure. 
The model has an embedding matrix of a size 30,000 by 768, where 30,000 is a vocabulary size and 768 is a hidden size. Besides the embedding matrix, the model also contains 12 transformer blocks with each block consisting of a multi-head attention network and a feed forward network. The multi-attention hat network contains 12 heads. A matrix of one hat has a shape of 64 by 768. 12 hats add up to a matrix of 768 and 768. The FFN layers has two matrices which has a shape of 3072 by 768. In Kofi, we allow the model to prune fine grain units like hats. We also allow the model to prune hat layers entirely, which means all 12 hats in the layer are pruned. Now the multi-hat attention function has two types of hat masks. One controls the whole hat layer and the other controls the hats. A single hat can be pruned through its own or through the layer it belongs to. Similarly, Kofi encourages pruning the fine grit units, the intermediate dimensions, as well as the feed forward networks, which is modeled by two sets of feed forward mask variables. There is one dimension that persists through all matrices in the model, the hidden size. In the bird based model, it's 768, and we propose to prune it as well. As a result, a single parameter in any weight matrix is controlled by three masking variables. For the layer wise distillation objective, a naive approach would be to align each layer for distillation. When one FFN layer is pruned, we simply remove the distillation loss to that layer. However, such an approach is suboptimal because the loss forces the prune model to approximate a function that only consists of lower layers. We propose an alternative way of doing layer-wise distillation. First, we select four teacher layers to distill from, denoted as set T, simply following tiny BERT. We then calculate the L2 distance between the selected teacher layers and every student layer with the current training batch. For each teacher layer, we find the mapping for each teacher layer to the student layer with the closest L2 norm. The intuition is that a, L, a small L2 distance shows a good approximation of the student layer for the selected teacher layer. If a lower student layer matches a higher teacher layer, it indicates that the student layers above can be pruned. The final layer distillation loss is the sum of L2 distances between the selected layers and the corresponding student layers with the lowest L2 norm. How can we control the sparsity of the final model? We use a solution adapted from the Lagrangian laws proposing one at all. Basically, the masking variables are modeled with hard concrete distributions, and we can use the masking variables and the full model size to calculate the expected sparsity of the model. Given a target sparsity specified, we can calculate the equality constraint. Compared to conventional L0 regularization to reduce the sum of the mask variables directly, this approach helps us rigorously control the sparsity of one model. Here we have our final objective for pruning. We have a prediction layer distillation loss, a layer-wise distillation loss, and a Lagrangian loss to control the sparsity. We mainly tested on two types of data sets, glue, which is a set of sentence classification tasks, and squad, an extractive question answering task. We first show the performance plot in terms of speed up, and also in terms of model size of various distillation and pruning baselines on four data sets, where the curves are pruning baselines, including block pruning and Dynabert, and the triangles show distillation baselines, including dis Steel Bird and Tiny Bird. If we take a close look at one of the dataset QNLI, the red triangle, which denotes a Tiny Bird 4, and the green dot, which denotes the smallest model from block pruning. These two models have a similar model size, but Tiny Bird 4, compressed through distillation, is twice as fast as the pruning model and performs even slightly better. Such a pattern is consistent across almost all datasets, showing that structured pruning falls behind knowledge distillation approaches, especially on high sparsity levels. Kofi pruning instead, showing the blue curves, outperforms all distillation and pruning baselines, comparing under the same speedup and model size. 
Next, we turn to models that could achieve over 10 times speed ups. We first show the tiny bird results without general distillation, which, could, which takes less than 10 hours to train. General distillation largely improves the performance, especially on small data sets like RTE and MRPC, but it's computationally intensive, which takes up to 350 hours to train. Kofi instead achieves comparable or even better performance and speed up with much less computational time. Next, we show how distillation objectives help improve the performance. Adding the prediction layer distillation brings a large gain up to 3.4 points. Our proposal layer-wise distillation loss brings additional gains and we show in our paper that the improvements are much larger for models with a smaller sparsity. To understand what the final model structures are like, we plot the remaining multi-head attention layers and the feed-forward layers for five tasks across three runs. All these models have a sparsity around 95%. Each row denotes a sequence of layers for one print model. We find that in terms of coarse grain units, the first and last FFN layers are largely retained, while the middle layers are more likely to be pruned. In terms of fine grain units, we show the average remaining intermediate dimensions and the heads across layers and different sparsities, and we found that the heads and intermediate dimensions from the top layers are more likely to be pruned. In summary, we propose Kofi pruning, which jointly prunes cores and fine grain units, and, and we propose an additional layer-wise distillation loss to guide the pruning process. Kofi pruning can achieve compressed models of up to 10 times speed ups while maintaining 90% of the accuracy. It really closes the gap between structured pruning and knowledge distillation with much less computation.